my YouTube friends. My name is Michael and welcome to another episode of Magnum Videos. Today we're going to talk about the Flight Challenge Part 2. This one's going to be a little bit more complicated, so stick around for the details. Alrighty, we are going to build on what we learned in the flight challenge part one and do something a little bit more complicated and uh, get you a little bit more capable of flying under great control. So what we're going to do, I've set up a couple of milk jugs out there on a diagonal pattern. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the, uh, the Phantom out there and we're going to bring it up probably just a very, fairly low altitude, maybe 10 or 20 feet. And we're going to start at the bottom left corner. We're going to rotate or yaw the craft so that it's pointing toward the top right corner. And we're going to use the right stick and go forward and head toward that top right corner. Once we get there, we're going to use the left stick and yaw back counterclockwise so that we're lined up with the bottom left uh, milk jug. And we're going to use the forward stick or the right stick and go forward and line up with that. We may have to adjust our left stick a little bit along the way so that we re remain in line uh, because it is a little bit windy, but that's the objective. And when we get through, it should look like this. That should have been relatively easy for you since you already figured out the controls with the Flight Challenge 1. But now we're going to throw in a little bit of a ringer. This is going to be a bit more difficult and uh, it may require more practice, but I guarantee you once you learn this particular maneuver, your flight skills will improve exponentially and you'll be able to stay in control and put the bird wherever you want it. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start out uh, directly above the bottom uh, left milk jug. Okay, we're going to remain pointed straight ahead. The other milk jug is over here. We're not pointing at it, we're pointing straight ahead. We're going to take the controller, the right stick, 
and we're going to move it diagonally. So it's going a little bit forward and a little bit to the right. Use small movements, go slowly, and try to take your phantom or your drone in a diagonal direction toward that second milk jug. You might want to turn your camera down so you can uh, capture it on your video. Then once you get there, do the same procedure backwards. Move the right controller down and to the left this time so that it will move you diagonally back toward that first milk jug. That's going to be a little bit tricky. Uh, it's going to take maybe two or three times before you get it accurate and it's probably going to take me a couple of times too because I've got a little bit of a wind out here. But go ahead and capture the video with the camera pointed down so you can see the ground going under you and see the milk jug coming into the picture when you get to the end. So uh, it should look like this. two flight paths that you have to do for flight challenge number two. I hope you will take your footage, uh, combine it into a video. You can do color correction if you want to. Actually, all you're going to be looking at is the ground going under you, but uh, do whatever you want with it and uh, upload it to YouTube and put this hashtag in the title. Hashtag MV flight challenge and then the number two, just like, just like that. MV Flight Challenge 2. If you put that in your title, that will take it to a hashtag page where all the videos will go and everybody can look at everybody else's and see how they did. Um, you can also put that hashtag in your description if you want to and in your tags if you want to, just to be on the safe side. So I think that's it for now. Uh, I hope you will do the flight challenge. I hope you will send a video. Leave a comment on here and let me know that you've uploaded a video to YouTube with that hashtag and I'll look for it. So uh, I hope you get a lot of views by using the hashtag, and I think that's it for now, so until I speak with you again and even after that, you stay focused. <laughs>